All right, hi everybody. We're going to look at three different ways you can code joystick controls in Scratch and compare them. So we have three sprites here and each one is coded differently. And the cat, when a arrow key is pressed, it's going to change the Y or the X location by five. We're using an event to change the location for the cat. On the apple, we're using a forever loop and it's checking to see if one of these keys pre is pressed, the A, the D, the X, and the W, to move it left, right, up, or down. It's listening to see if a key is pressed in an if statement in a forever loop. That is the red apple. And then these cheesy poofs, we have event listeners again. So when this key is pressed, it's going to repeat until the key is not pressed. It's going to listen to two things, when the key is pressed and when you let go of that key. And it will keep moving it that uh, sprite in a direction until you let go of the key. The cheesy poofs and the sprite are actually opposites, right? The, these event listeners are just listening to one thing, whether the key is pressed and the cheesy poof is listening to when it's pressed and when it's not pressed. And the Apple is listening uh, to keys in a forever loop. And we'll just see how smoothly these three run. So we'll start with a cat. So it's kind of a little bit laggy. And you see if I press the up and the right arrow, it will not go diagonally. It will go one or the other. I can't move this cat diagonally. So that's a problem when you're coding this kind of joystick controls. It's it's slower and you can only go these four directions. So on the Apple, uh, we have this forever loop and it's listening for these keys. Let's try that. So you can see the movement is a lot smoother, eh? And you can go diagonally in, in all directions. So you have more options to move around and it's, and it's smoother. Check the cheese poofs. So the cheesy poofs uh, it's listening to two things, when the key is pressed and then when it's not pressed. So it's S and F left, right. And you can see it's pretty smooth and you can go diagonally uh, also in all four directions. Let's have a little race between this cat and the cheat and the apple here. I'm going to press the right arrow both at uh, the same both times and you'll see the apple is much more sensitive in all directions. Right? So the apple, the way the apple is coded, is better than the way the cat is coded. And then we'll just try the cheesy poofs and the cat here. Try those. And I'm going to press the right arrow at the same time. See, the cheesy poofs is more sensitive than the cat um, to move. Much faster, much more agile. Let's compare the apple and the cheesy poofs. So we're going to hit the right arrow at the same time. And they move exactly at the same time. So these two methods work in the same way, the same uh, efficiency. So, so if you want to code joystick controls for your sprite in Scratch, the Apple way, using the forever loop, and the cheesy poof, listening to when the key is pressed and not pressed, is the best way.